What up, though? And welcome to Lunchtime Detroit Lions Talk, brought to you by Detroit Lions on the Prowl and Lions Nation United. It's your man, Curse. Today, today is Wednesday. Hump day, baby. April 26, 2023. It's the last hump day of the month, man. April's almost gone. Woo, we we get ready for that draft, baby, this weekend, man. On deck for the day show, we look at the dream scenarios for the Lions on draft night. And let ask about what are your draft night plans? And I discuss if the Lions will run the NFC North now that Aaron Rodgers is in New York. But before we get into all that, man, hey, like the video, share the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Be a part of the Pro Nation family. Hey, it's time to bring in the rest of the crew. First up, man, you see him with that maize and blue t-shirt on today. It's the ladies' pet, the men's regret. You ain't seen nothing. Yes, our resident wish, Rick Ross. My man, LL Cool Twins. What's going on, my guy? What's that? I'm Proud Nation and good morning. Man, and y'all know who it is, man. It's Braylon Edwards Jr. Jr. Now, it's Coach Mike Jones, man. He's boxing this weekend, man. Good luck Saturday night, man. We, you know, we rooting for you, man, because he's the boxing pride of Jackson, Michigan, man. He will cut your fade. He will run your fade. He'll coach your kids and cook you a meal. And, man, and I swear, I've seen a pop-up oil chain station with his name on it, man. It's who? It's the Wolverine, Coach Mike Jones. What's going on, Lion fans? Let's get this thing started. Right now. Let's go. It's Detroit Lions talk, baby. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, people. Before we continue, you know I got to do, man. It's April. It's Autism Awareness Month. It's the last few days of Autism Awareness. You know I always represent my son, Curtis Still the Third. So I'm, saying, I'm wearing that, my getting that shirt. In a world where you could be anything, be kind, you know. And Coach Jones is, you know, autism parent, too. He was a stepson. So I'm going to kick it to him for his topic for the day. What you got, my man, Coach Jones? Yeah, so we all know this is this is draft night eve. Uh, so, you know, with all that being said, all everybody done done 100 PPF mock drafts and, and all of that. And it's like, you know what? Really, what is your biggest wish for the Detroit Lions on draft night Thursday night? What What is your one biggest – if you could have any one thing on draft night Thursday – what would it be? Not, not, not like oh, I was this. I was it not. If you could just have one thing, you could have one thing. What would it be? I'm gonna toss it to you, LL. No, you had to come to me first. Yeah. So my my wish is for the for the Detroit Lions to draft me at number six. So <laughs> it probably won't help the team much, but it'll help my pockets a whole lot. But but no, in uh in in real life, um. I don't really have very many um, wishes. Just don't do nothing stupid. That's all. That's my biggest wish of all. No whammies. Maybe I should have said that. No whammies. No whammies. That's my biggest wish. I like that. I like that. All right. So, for Kurt, it's easy, man. Two premium defensive players, uh, a defensive lineman and a cornerback or a defensive back. One of those, the, the, that's my dream scenario. You look at what what's going on in the draft and what would the kind of draft capital we have. I don't know if it's at uh, we get one at six or eighteen or trade back and get one later on in the first round, but to fulfill those two needs, those two two defensive premium uh, defensive linemen, I'm look either Will Hare, uh, Will Anderson, excuse me, or um, or Jalen Carter, and then one of those defensive backs. You know, it doesn't have to me. It doesn't have to be Witherspoon. It could be Gonzalez. It could be Joey Porter. It could be Banks. It could be a few because the the cornerback market is deep in this draft. So. You don't have yeah. to, you know, you don't, we don't have to have one of those guys because we have a lot of veterans that we just brought in. So that's my thing. Two premium defensive players, one on the defensive line and one in the secondary. That's my, my wish list or my dream scenario for the Lions in on draft night. Okay. Um, what you got, Coach Jones? Cause you know, say okay. you asked the question. Now you got to ask the question yeah. to you. Turn the yeah. microphone over to you. What you got, my man? Yeah. So I, I want the Lions to come away with three first round picks oh, okay. in the draft. I want the Lions to, if they stay at 6-18, and 18, I want them to trade into the back end 
uh, maybe 25 to 31 somewhere and grab uh, a third first round pick or maybe trade back with the Tennessee Titans and grab number, I think it's pick 11. And, you know, then they have 6, 11, and, uh, or they have 11, and then they package another pick to move in from 11, 18, they move back in and grab a third one. Like, I just hope that the Lions get three first-round picks out of this year's draft because we're trying to suit up, we're trying to strap up, we're going to war, and we're coming for this NFC North guns blazing. All right. You want to hear something funny, Coach Mike? What's that? For my topic, I was going to put, what if the Lions get three first round picks? Because I, I kind of, I don't. It's not necessarily a wish, but I could see them doing that, trading back in and targeting a, a couple of players to, you know, not let them make it out the first round or whatever it is. So, I'm speaking I'm, into fruition, my brother. Speak it in. <laughs> I can see it. I can see it. You know, you know what, you know the uh, the black people saying, "Won't he do it?" All right, <laughs> like the video, <laughs> share the video comment on the video, man. That <laughs> was a topic for the day. <laughs> what is your dream? What is your wish list for the Detroit Lions on draft night? We ask you to say questions, uh, man. man. Hey, funny. you're talking about speaking into the speaking into existence, but hey. It is what it is, man. You know how we get, how we get down, man. We're going to have some fun right here. Detroit Lions are probably your home for Detroit Lions. News and rumors, baby. All right, right man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, make sure you check us out over there on the Lions Nation Unite, man. Y'all got to excuse me. We'd be a sitting this morning. Hey, um, make sure you check us out over there, man. They, they have something going on over on their Facebook page as well, man. So check them out over there. Or you can download the app in the Google, Android, or Apple app store and make sure you check out the new LNU shop man you got some curse still you got that what up no mug you know what I'm saying uh, and I have some of my boss up ball out gears over there as well and this summer with my logo on it man so go check it out over that LNU shop man the Detroit line on the prowl new gear will be heading over there soon so make sure you go check it out at uh, over there to the LNU the new uh, link is over there in the app and on the Facebook page so make sure you go over there and check that thing out. And you know all your favorite content creators over there too, because those are Dion got gear in there too. Everything King and a plethora of other guys in there um, hanging out in LNU. You know you got Micro Mike over there doing this thing as well. Make sure you hang out with us on Detroit Lions on the Prod.com. If you want some retro gear before the new gear goes over there to the LNU shop, go on Lions on the Prod shop.com and get your retro gear, man. You know all the shirts that uh Jim used to wear it back in the day. So make sure you go over there and grab you one before that shop kind of that shop closes down. All right. Uh, and definitely make sure you go to fanatics.com, man. It's a whole bunch of uh deals going on, man. The draft caps are over there. You know, what you're gonna see on stage, what you may see, you know, Kirk got that rocking that you know, that one right there, the stone cover one. Uh, you're gonna have the the Honolulu Blues over there too at fanatics.com. Links in the description below. And those things are gonna go on sale real soon. So you know what I mean? Oh, if you want to hold off and get one, because you know after the draft, they're gonna go on sale. So make sure you check it out after the draft, because you know it is what it is. But um, go to fanatics.com, links in the description below, and a portion of the proceeds go to help us grow the content on the channel. You see my man wearing a that Honolulu blue hat, and then he's wearing a Michigan shirt because he's a Wolverine lion, man, because he's a Wolverine on Saturday and a lion on Sunday. So make sure you go over to wolverlion.com to grab that gear, man. Links in the description below. And Coach Jones is going to hook you up with some tight gear at wolverlion.com. And then do what your part to help fight cancer. Head over to uh, to the Roar Up link in the description. Big Lion Man does his thing, man. And that gear helps the American Cancer Society of Michigan. So make sure you help out and do your part in the fight against cancer. All right. LL got a good question for everybody, man. What you got today, man? What is your question for the for the proud nation family. Well, you know, I just want to talk to y'all and figure out what y'all are doing tomorrow night for the draft. It's going to be a big night. Myself, I like to stay away from the public because I cuss a whole lot and that crazy when stuff happens that I don't like or when stuff happens that I do like because I'm crazy like that. But, um, you know, I plan on um, probably being a part of the Detroit Lions on the prior, uh draft coverage for a little while. I'll be checking it out and, you know, enjoying my, my evening. What are you guys going to be doing, Kurt and Coach Mike, and out there as well? If y'all want to drop it into what's name or in the uh, comment section, let me know. Well, what are y'all? What are y'all big plans for tomorrow oh. night? Or if y'all if y'all got it, if y'all start in the morning, now you gonna go get a fresh shave and eat some lions colored breakfast and eat a, and put on the lions colored uh, underwear and socks and, and and everything. You know your your yeah. lanyard and your eyeglasses and all of that. Is it is it is it a big is it a big um, 
family day? Are you are you getting prepared to yell? Are you are you prepared to <laughs> be disappointed? Like what is, what are your plans for tomorrow evening? Well, um, yeah, for for tomorrow evening and then for the rest of draft too, if you want to answer that. <laughs> yeah. Um I will be right here. Uh you know, we'll talk about it later on, but uh, hopefully you guys will be right here with us right here on Detroit Lions of the Proud. Uh, however, I will hop over and appear on the LNU feed. Uh, they're uh, being live from the casino, and uh, they were we were streaming, and they will be having some of the content creators uh, from LNU come in, and I will be doing that. I will hop on their feed, give them some feedback. After I break down the picks on our show, I will hop over to LNU and do that as well. But, uh, yeah, man, I hope to see everybody right here on the channel, man, doing the draft because that's where I'm going to be. I'm going to be right here, baby. What you got, Coach Jones? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I'm going to be decked out. I'm going to have on everything lines. I'm going to have on – hold on, because y'all don't even know that I'd be doing a show like this, but I'm going to have mm-hmm. on my lion flip-flops. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? My sandals, man. Uh, you know, I'm going to mm-hmm. have on my, my, my pants. I'm going to have on a shirt or a hoodie. I'm going to have on some type of hat. I'm going to – all lions, man, and then um, you know that one side of your beard silver, and one side no, of your beard blue. I'm not doing none of that. Oh. <laughs> I'm not doing none of that. But uh, <laughs> he got he got the silver in there for a couple of hair. Mine's already yeah. silver, so mine's yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Already... It's to a little bit. Yeah, yeah so I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill out, man. I'm gonna pop on uh, I'm gonna pop on the stream. Uh, you know, give my thoughts, man. Um. And I'm just going. I'm just going to chill out, man, and, and pray for the best. I can't have nothing to sip on and nothing like that, man. I'm Be fighting, I'm fighting about it. Yeah, I'm kind yeah, of mad you about fighting about Saturday. It. So you no, know, uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm already in my in my two week. You know, my two week. Uh, you know, two week before the fight. I don't no sipping, no no romancing, no none of that. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm in that mode. But uh, yeah, I just, I just want to chill out, man. I know I'm going. I'm going to be. I'm going to be uh, happy with what happens because I trust her at home. So I'm yeah. good, man. I'm just going to be chilling. Yeah. I trust them 98.6%, almost all the way. Almost oh. all the way. Hey. I give them all, I give them all my faith. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? <laughs> Hopefully he ain't going to pull no whammies on his head. Yeah, won't he? You know what I'm saying? You know, all the time and all the time. He get... All right. <laughs> like the video, share the video, comment on the video, man. Be a part of the Pro Nation family. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, do us a favor. If you want to do a little extra things, go ahead and join the Wall of Fame, man. Links in the description below. We'll go over who's on the Wall of Fame later on in the show. But now it is time for me to talk about what I got to talk about, man. Hey, y'all know what it is, man. Ding dong, the witch is gone. Aaron Rodgers uh, <laughs> is now a Jet. The deal is, uh, was the, the was agreed upon. He's in uh, New Jersey taking his physical and everything. They probably have his introductory press conference today. And the reason why he got done uh, now is because the trade involved two first round picks. So you know you have to have that done before the draft. So he'll be in there and getting his um, press conference. He is out of the division now. Here's my thing. The question is, will the Lions run the North or does it belong, the Lions, uh, does the North belong to the Lions now that Aaron Rodgers is gone? Here's my state. Here's my take in the whole thing. There's a bunch of talk about all that crap, man. Now it's up for grabs. And as he knows up for grabs, Aaron Rodgers is going out of the division, man. I don't think it didn't matter that Aaron Rodgers was out of the division. You look at the Lions last year, right? Nine and eight, and they had the best record against the division. Even though we know Minnesota won the division, uh, but they finished four and two against the division rivals. The Lions finished five and one, swept the Packers, swept the Bears, and split with the Vikings. And with the sweep there, yeah, and with the veteran pieces they added to the secondary this offseason, and what they may add to the defense in the draft, the Lions are primed to take over the division. No matter who was in quarterback in, in Green Bay. The Lions, lo- I mean, excuse me, the Vikings lost some good players due to salary cap implications and issues that they had. The Bears and Packers are hitting the reset buttons and rebuilding their rosters. Both the, those teams need offensive line help. All the all those defensive pieces that the Bears did, I ain't, they ain't adding none to their offensive line. The offensive line is still trash. You still if they if they don't do nothing in the draft to, add, to fix that offensive line, this is still going to be trouble for um, the young fella Justin Fields and. Chicago. And I mean, and you don't know what you're going to get out of Jordan Love up there in Green Bay. They hitting the reset button. You lo- they lost some offensive weapons. They they, they lost uh 
Alan Lazard, they lost their their tight end um, as well in free agency. So they're hitting the reset button in Green Bay as well. They still got a, a decent defense, but it's not as it's not great. So if you look at this, and by the end of the draft, the Lions could have the most complete division, excuse me, complete roster in the NFC North and actually run the division. If you look at what they did in free agency and what they can add in the draft, they can have them because they already got the, the best offense in the division. The, the numbers the numbers don't lie. You know what I'm saying? And they might have the best run game, but as far as a total offense in itself, they have the best offense in the North, hands down. Best scoring offense, best passing offense. And, you know, the, the run the run uh, offense it was vastly improved. And you look at the addition of David Montgomery, it was going to get better. So what do you guys think? I don't think it matters that Aaron Rodgers is gone. I think we have a chance to win the North regardless of what's going on uh, in any other team. Yeah, um, I think that I'm just happy that Aaron Rodgers' last pass as a Packer was intercepted by Kirby Joseph. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Brings a tear to my eye. My, yeah, it does. And as much hell as he didn't de- cause us here up in Detroit, man, I'm glad that, that that's just poetic. But um, you know what? I'm I'm gonna be that that one, not negative person, but I'm gonna be that one like to bring a little bit of reality back to us because. The Vikings won the division last year, and um, you know the, you know depending on what they choose to do, how healthy Dobbin Cook comes back, um, what they choose to do in the draft, they they still gonna be, you know they still gonna be uh, a tough team to beat. Um, so while I do think we will win the North, I do I I mean I'm confident we will win the North. I do think the Vikings are going. They're gonna be like they're gonna be standing there like, hold on, bro. Nah, hold hold on, bro. Think... Like, you know what I'm saying? So you know, uh, with that being said, I, I think it'll be tough, but we'll win the division. Go ahead. I think I think the Vikings gonna stand in the way like a old person. Just hold on, there, young man. They ain't got nothing for us. They ain't got nothing for us. I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna well, take I it all the way there. I thought gonna say whippersnapper or something. Hello, little nah. whippersnapper. <laughs> yeah, hold, hold on. Yeah, yo, Buck. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the man. And I don't mean that they old. I just mean that they stand there and ain't gonna, ain't gonna do much. I, I don't know. Yeah, that yeah, too, that the, too. But the Vikings have one of the oldest rosters in the, in the, in the NFC. <laughs> they ain't none of my concern is, is yeah. my point. And I, and I apologize to you first, Kurt, because in the beginning I was thinking like I was asleep because I thought you were about to talk about Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. But I agree with you wholeheartedly. It don't even. We've been saying this. The we've been saying this, especially mm-hmm. the North Fires anyway. It don't even matter. It don't matter. Yeah. Bring him back. Yeah, I was hoping like he was going to stay. Honestly. It doesn't matter if he's here. <laughs> I, I wish. I wish that he was staying because that that will make it even more sweeter when we actually do win this division. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I like our chances. Um, we was five and one against the division last year. Now it's time to just put a few more. Um, outside the uh, division wins on the board so we can p- even win the division. Even if we don't win the division, the division ours because that record don't mean yeah. that. Look at, the, look at the Vikings last year. Coach Mike, you said it a hundred times to me, p- particularly that we would have beat the Giants in that first round. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So We didn't beat the Vikings matter. in the first round too. <laughs> That's what, so yeah, so, but if we were in there, if we were there mm-hmm. instead of the Vikings, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that too, we would have beat the Vikings if we would have been playing them. So yeah, I like our mm-hmm. chances. The North is ours, and I don't think we're going to give it up no time soon. But if we do, then, you know, I cuss a little bit. But, no, nah, we ain't even going to get there. Yeah, I mean, and you, you look at the Vikings, right? They they had a t- – they their offensive line wasn't great, too. We we got to – we got to Kirk Cousins several times, especially when they play in four field. We we was causing havoc in that backfield. Their offensive line is not great. If you And if you look at what they lost, uh, you lose, losing Alan, um, Adam Thielen, uh, losing um, – uh, uh, what's the other running? The running back, uh, Matt. Uh, I forget the guy's name. The backup to Dalvin Cook. I think they lost him oh, too. Um, yeah, yeah, out of him. Yeah, they lost him too in free agency. You look at the some of the things that that defense. They lost a lot of key pieces on that defense, man. You look at you know the guys that they lost. Mm, I and think their ass is yeah. probably good because their defense wasn't really that. Their defense last was year. absolutely <laughs> ass last year, especially <laughs> the secondary. <laughs> so I mean, they got they got a new defensive coordinator. They got Brian Flores coming in, so they got they all yes. a little pumped up about that. But Brian Flores don't, ain't on the field. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so so and they got the board. They got the board back there, coaching the secondary. Mm. Oh, um, who's coaching the secondary? And then uh, who? Don't, uh, don't. Probably Pleasant. 
Yeah. Nah, I, don't know, I, re, I thought Ray Pleasant went to went to the went to the Rams. Ray Pleasant went back to the Rams. Yeah, he went back to L.A. I thought I thought yeah. he went to the Vikings. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. He went back to L.A. He he was with the Packers last year. He went back to L.A. He, okay, he, uh, last year. Yeah, he went back to L.A. So, oh, yeah. that under that got shit done. We're going to run it. Yeah, <laughs> with all that being said, man, like the video, share the video, comment on the video, man. Make sure you check us out on your favorite social media platforms. You know, you got Facebook over there. You got TikTok, and of course, you know what tomorrow is. It's Thursday. It's the draft edition of Thursday Thursday right there on Instagram page, man. You know what I'm saying? You might see some jerseys or something floating around that thing. Man, you might, you know, seeing a football edition of Thursday Thursdays on LL's Instagram page, man. So make sure you go and check that thing out, man. Quench your thirst on Thursday Thursdays right there. I'm going to give me a little yeah. sip of it. Mm. Right there, maybe, LS, eh? maybe fat. Yeah, man, it is what it is. <laughs> Twitter twiz on Instagram on Thursday, Thursdays, man. Now it's time for us to do my favorite thing of the show, man. It is time to see what you had to say on yesterday's show. We had some interesting comments yesterday. It is time for the comment cards, baby. First up, we got we on top the 100 friend of the show and member of the Wall of Fame. He says, I hate this happened. We're talking about the gambling scandal. Uh, but it, when he comes back, uh, look out. However, I think I do think we should target Jalen Hyatt or someone else who can take the top off the defense. Okay, we're talking about uh, the Jamo thing. What do you guys? Uh, you got who do you guys like to help during the Jamo absence? God bless you guys. Um, I mean, we didn't have Jamo for most of the. I mean, if you look at Jamo, only kind of for eighty yards in the Lions offense last year. I mean, like we didn't sign, you know, we signed Marvin Jones. I mean, like, you know, and look, look at look at what Jared Goff did. Jared Goff didn't start throwing the ball down the field to DJ Chark till later on in the season because he didn't have nobody to throw to, especially the middle of the season, he didn't have nobody to throw the ball to. It, it was all short to medium media passes for the most part for the season. And we still had the one of the top, we had said the top passing offense and one of the top scoring offenses in the league. So uh, we can get by without Jamo for this game. I'm going to worry about that. I, I trust I trust Ben Johnson to do his thing. I like Khalif Raymond um, to help during J Mo. Yeah, absence. y'all 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 gonna quit doing my little dog like that. He stepped up big time for us last year. Yeah, I I agree with you. He did little little little, yeah. little micro and, and Marvin. Yeah, that boy Marvin gonna come back and do a little something. something. Little, little micro mini pimp. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, yeah. Shout out to shout out to, to that boy Jim. He always used to talk about how uh, Khalif Raymond and things like that. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, our guys Mike and Chris G says um, this is the tip of the iceberg. I'm willing to bet it's more prevalent throughout uh, throughout the league. I was sure this would have. Oh, they they talking about the betting, uh, talking mm-hmm. about the betting and stuff. I was sure it would happen as soon as sports embedded itself with gambling. I I still do not. Oh, I get what he's saying. I still do not understand why they can't bet on the NCAA tournament. This still falls on the players, not on the coaching staff, and this whole facility crap. A toe in the park. Oh, I get a, a toe in the parking lot. Is at the facility, um, in in the gambling, and it will all be fine. Um, that ain't gonna happen. You already know that because the people that run the gambling run a whole lot of other stuff in this world. So that ain't and, gonna uh, happen. And all the partnerships, that the NFL, and all the partnerships that the NFL has with all the sports books on that crap like that, and FanDuel and right. whatever, whatever. Yeah, it's it's too much. Not too to much say, money. not to say that I that I that I don't. Not to say that I disagree with you though, because I do disagree. Because that. A lot of things don't happen without a lot of things hovering over it. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of you know, a lot of situations cause for other situations. If you get what I'm saying, so I, I, I agree I, with you on that. But it ain't gonna I stop no time soon. No, it ain't. Nah. Uh, Michael Lewis says, "Front of the show." I don't believe it changes anything. He's talking about uh, Jamo being gone. He yes. said, "I think they are drafting a wide receiver in the second round anyway, or in second anyway." Okay. As far as Jamo, he's fed up. He effed up. Oh, he, he fed up? No, he effed uh, up. Oh, he effed up. My bad. Mm-hmm. As far as Jamo, he effed up. Um, but it really sounds more like the whole rule wasn't explained fully. Um, I just, like, man, look, like I said before, you got peanuts and you're trying to win peanuts, man. How your family do all bets from now on? Every <laughs> player, this is broadcasting, every player in NFL, have your mama your wife, your baby mama, your kids, whoever you have to make that bet, your favorite uncle, your favorite cousin that's sleeping on your couch, have them place the bet. 
Please. Coach Mike, Coach Mike doing doing that uh that that thing like the, that soccer player that his wife tried to divorce him he couldn't get half because everything was his Coach, mama's name. <laughs> Coach, Coach Mike gonna say that, and and when you um you don't have this problem, but somebody else gonna have to start answering questions. Why you only bet on Thursdays? Where you be at on Thursday? Why you only bet? Why you be betting on your app when you ain't with me? Then you got this. Don't let your baby mama do it. Whatever you do, let everybody else except her. And who's all right? Mark Ham <laughs> says, um, "J Mo wasn't betting on the NFL." We said, "We you know we know that the sub, the rules are ridiculous and needs to be changed." The hypocrisy of the NFL punishing players for gambling while simultaneously promoting all of the sports books is hilarious. Yep, because every time you turn on the NFL Network, every freaking third or fourth commercial is some kind of sports betting thing, and they have the sports betting. People, here's the, the thing with me. And uh, hold on. Okay, let me finish this. Uh, smash all, uh, smash all the uh, overs uh, on JMO or week seven uh, because this kid w- is going to be hungry. Here's my thing. Every NFL, the NFL network even has people. The betting people have a show on the network. They got betting people on the network. All these networks got all these networks got betting got shows. Be, got betting shows, man. And betting segments. Yep. Stop playing with it. What you got? <laughs> what you got, LL? <laughs> all that's, of that's them. The, that's the craziest part. But they all know, got yeah. betting. They got betting. They got fantasy, which is betting too. Um, all they all those people all those shows have that stuff. All those networks and including the NFL network has that stuff on their show, on their platform. I'm gonna just say it like you, Kurt. It is. What it is. She is what it um, is. Also, a friend of the comment card, Scott Smith said, um, Lions are riding very high and full of belief, but J Mo has been acting like a spoiled brat since he's been here. I don't Ow. know. Uh, I know he's young, but this whole thing has definitely deflated the whole organization and gave the Detroit Lions a black eye. We will overcome this, but it's a lot more than a road bump. It's like two steps forward and one step back, a kind of vibe that can, if not dealt with immediately cause a cancer on the team. By the way, I love your draft. They all make sense. And Moody for the win. I feel like okay. you put that last part at the end so I wouldn't cuss at your first part. Yeah. I won't cuss because – so I appreciate you. Thank you for liking my draft, even though it don't really matter in the grand scheme of things. I just – you know, thank you for messing with me. But um, I don't believe that this is, um, a you know, the two steps forward, one step back. It's like a, a half step in the same place, if you're asking me. But – um. I don't think he's been acting like a spoiled brat. Mm-hmm. I kind of had, I kind of had a small issue with how he came out on the stage, but ever since then, it just seemed to me he seemed like that little kid who want to play football. If y'all ever came up, you know, on the first few days or something, somebody my main signed to slip and he just stayed on the sideline holding the football. He ready to get in the game. That's what he kind of reminds me of. I don't think I don't agree with that part. I don't agree that it gave the Lions a, a, a black eye. I, I don't think it really matters that much because we got wide receiver depth, and I don't know that that's going to hinder us that much. I could be wrong, and tell me I'm wrong to, when I'm wrong. To me, the right bigger now, I, I, I disagree. Yeah, the bigger issue was the two guys getting suspended for a whole freaking year, and the staffers getting fired for gambling. I just it's uh, it's you you yeah. it's, 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 it's I would it's, understand it's, if it was like if it was something illegal. It's only yeah. illegal to the NFL if it was like you know what I'm saying these if they was out here you know selling moving work or something like that, you know, I'll be like, whoa, what and, is y'all doing? But I don't, it's just gambling. I don't, I don't get this narrative. That he's and it's a, allowed everywhere else. I don't get this. And you you guys will, you will be the same ones. It's the same freaking, some of these people that will run players away from Detroit because they want to say stupid crap about them and they don't even know because they've, they've done the same crap for years. He's not, how does he act like a spoiled brat? The kids, he's a kid. He's a young man. Okay, I get it. He's 20 whatever years old, 21, 20, whatever it is. But how is he acting like a spoiled brat? You you tell me how he's acting like a spoiled brat. I, I, give me an example. Put it in the comment section, and you tell me what he's done to act like a spoiled brat. He's he's been out in the community. He was out. In, he was on Six Mile getting conies. You know what I'm saying? He out in the community. He out with the people. I mean, I'm just saying that uh, could be a bad thing. Nah, it was because <laughs> yeah. what could, you doing. You really I mean, what you doing over there? No, but he's 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 <laughs> trying he's trying to embed himself in the community. He's trying to go, hey, take 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 me take me where the people are. Because here's my thing: some people want only want to go where the it's flashy and stuff like that. And just right. oh, yeah, you know, what I'm saying he like take uh, take me around away with the people that you know, say with the fans that people who are rooting for me. You know, what I'm saying, and they 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 showed him love over there on Six Mile. They took care of him. They won't right, they, they won't go, they won't go let no nothing happen to him while he was over there. 
my thing is, how, tell tell me how. Oh, he wasn't he wasn't at the uh, the the voluntary workouts on the first day. Neither was Aiden Hutchinson. He ain't been there the whole time. So where's mm. so where's his where's mm. his scolding for acting like a spoiled brat? Shut the hell up with that mm. bullshit. What I didn't you got? Know that. Yeah, what you got, Coach? I don't, Jones? I don't care either. I don't care either. Yeah, because it's that. voluntary. It's voluntary workouts. Right. And he, and he was out there with, with Jared Goff. He was out there with Amara St. Brown. He's been working with the wide receiver uh, guru. Man, kick rocks with that bullshit. What you got, Coach John? I, I would have felt safer if he was at the Church of Chicken on Seven Mile and Gratiot. That's just me. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, John Belusic. I think that's how it is. John Belusic the third. Uh, Joe. Uh, Joe. Oh, Joe. Yeah, Joe Belusic the third. That, that, that man, that Belusic, that, that had me. I'm like, uh, you had your shit, bro. No, I'm, like, no, I'm like, I don't even really know if that's really how you're supposed to be saying that like that. Uh, no, John Belusic or Joe Belusic says, everyone deserves what they get. The rules are easy to understand. The problem is when the NFL got in bed officially with all these sports book providers. That's it, man. Um, that that I mean that that's that's one in a million, and that just like like Pete Rose probably cussing people out right now. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Pete Rose, but he probably like also y'all saying, <laughs> you know. So uh, yeah, man. Um, it, it's just yeah. it's just it, it, a lot more clarity got to be brought to it. I figured this would happen. Once the NFL got in bed with it, with all the sports book betting apps and all that stuff. So once this happens, once it's passed, I think the league will be more clear on the rules and things like that, especially people betting on college basketball at the facility or at organizations like or at team or so. Basically, if you with the team at a facility or at a function, you can't bet, but you can if you was across the street. Like, they got to clear up some of them rules, man. But I feel you, uh, Joe Ball, Belusic, Balsic, uh, the third. Yeah, man. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Man, if you don't think these dudes is playing pity pat, taunt, uh, poker, <laughs> whatever, when they're together. You, you, you seen the last dance? Michael Jordan was betting people on flipping yeah, quarters. Yeah, flipping quarters. And sh- like, yeah, it's well, my thing is like, if you don't think, okay, just because you don't see the money don't mean it ain't, it ain't it ain't changing no hands, especially on like when they taking flights or whatever. They ain't each other. You don't think they – man, stop playing. You don't think they're gambling? I seen the, I seen the, I seen the thing where we, we had a conversation yesterday because they was trying to – people was trying to tell me that Michael Jordan almost went broke from betting. I don't know, but that ain't none of my business in anyway. But my my argument was that he was rich enough to cover whatever bets he had. So mm-hmm. the person that was having right. this debate with me Googled, of course, and he was like, oh, he had like – one point some odd million dollars worth of uh, gambling debt. So I'm like, all right, what was it? Come to find out, it was some, you know, from some from this is in somebody else. This is from associate of Michael Jordan's book talking mm-hmm. about they golf bets. Mm-hmm. So oh, number yeah. one, number one, I don't I don't believe stuff that people write in these books most times because Kareem Stephens. Mm-hmm. Number two, <laughs> not super head. You don't you don't if you don't if you if you I would just say I got a. I got what they say. I got I got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell. If you believe that Michael Jordan was broke and he couldn't cover a million dollar bet to some dude on the on the golf course, mm-hmm. that's just what you that's just what you call big dog and people are ass betting it for some people. Yeah. Yeah, I owe you. I'm just not paying you. What you gonna do about it? Yeah, it's it's one of those things where this I mean with, the NFL the, needs to needs to figure this stuff out with the with the sports because either you, right. I, I mean like um I mean I I as and they put people in place to monitor it. So you got people monitoring the sports betting apps, but you but you're partnering with the people. I don't get you know it is what it is. Um, he got his six games. He wasn't betting on NFL games, but you got two players that were betting on NFL games that got suspended for a whole year on the Lions, and you had staffers get fired for the for violating. There's a lot. It's a lot bigger story than just Jamo. So please cut that narrative out that he's a problem child. He is not. You he just he hadn't got on the field. And you want all this? You want the Ferrari out there? And you, you oh, the key he met, man. Like I said the other day, if you haven't done something stupid in your twenties, you damn lying. You lying, especially you. You ain't had a bunch of money or stuff that you know going on with a guy that's like that's like Jamo. You know what I'm saying? That he's a 21 year old kid that got bank. He got paper, and he lost some. Like you said, you and, know what I'm saying? The trouble and the trouble is a formality and a rule. Just think about yeah. everything you're saying. Is a, you ain't done nothing dumb. You ain't did this, but the problem nothing, is yep. a formality in a rule. Yep, uh, something that's 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 legal everywhere else, but 
uh, he did it with a toe in the parking lot, and maybe he, uh, you know, saying got to spend. All right, man. Now it's time enough of that. Now it's time for dessert with your man Kurt. Brought to you by Delightful Bites, custom cookies and desserts for any occasion. If you like how they look, you will love how they taste. All right, we got to get into it right quick before we get out of here. Uh, the draft coverage, man. We will start our draft coverage. We will be here every day of the draft. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We will. We will be here Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Excuse me. We will be here. We will be here. We will be here. Um, the the uh, our stream will start like right well when the uh, the NFL uh, draft starts. So we will be here at eight o'clock uh, tomorrow night, prime time. So you tune in. Uh, today is a special, 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 special. Go members meeting. Why is that? Because everybody invited today to the gold members meeting. So everybody will be able to participate if you're a gold member or not. Be able to tune in at three o'clock and hang out with the crew. Uh, Val will be running the gold members meeting today. So, Eric, because we didn't have, we haven't had the last two um, free for all Fridays and we won't have one this week because of the draft. So we will have a special, special, special gold members meeting today for everybody everybody the proud nation family and they will have a special link check, check the community tab for that and with that being said that is your dessert with your man kurt brought to you by delightful bites custom cookies and desserts for any occasion if you like how they look you will love how they taste delightful bites get your cookie on all right now it's time for final thoughts for today's show my man you getting in the ring this weekend, man. So I'm going to let you go first on the last recorded show of the week, man. What you got for the people? Yeah, man, uh, I just want to say I can't wait for the draft. Um, it's it's going to be some excitement. Brad Holmes will never hold no punches when it comes to the draft. Uh, mm-hmm. So um, I'm excited to see what that brother going to do, man. Um, I'm excited to get back in the ring, um, fighting uh, in the neighbor city to my hometown, uh, Marysville. Uh, Port Huron and Marysville is linked neck and neck. That's like one to Detroit. Um, or Auburn Hills, the Pontiac. So, um, yeah, man, I'm excited to get back in that ring, man. And uh, I just don't plan on that fight lasting long. I plan on getting up in there, knocking him out, and then go, go, you know, go have a little after party or something like that, man. So uh, I'm, I'm going to post a link to the video. I know it's going to be on the app. I'm not really sure. The promoter got some type of, you know, so it's quote-unquote pay-per-view because it's on the app. But um, I'm, I'm going to get that link, man, see if I can't post it, man, and see if you know, we can get y'all going so y'all can see Mr. Jones in action. But, yeah, man, I can't wait for the draft, man. This is this, this going to be an exciting weekend for me. I get the draft, I get the fight, and then I get back to the draft. And, oh, yeah, it's going down. Yeah, man. All right, my man, my mellow, LL, get on that mic because you know you eat jello. Start out by saying good luck to my man, Coach Jones, out there in that ring. I know you're going to do your thing. Um, don't embarrass us, boy. I don't, and I don't expect you to. So good luck, you know. Yeah. Uh, handle that biz. Um, uh, congrats to all the young men uh, that are in line to be drafted tomorrow. If you are, if you or you know this weekend, if you are, if you ain't, just know, you know, you still got a chance. The NFL is a is a big place. It's always a room. It's always room for you. And as if 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 it was no copyright um, infringements, I would start playing. If y'all are familiar with um, the the historic. Uh, rap group um, uh, Three Six Mafia. They have a song called "Who Run It." I would just start playing that lowly and just build, let it build. Cause uh, talking about the North, cause we run that thing. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you if you're familiar with that song, turn that up on your way to work. Play it. Play it when you hear that. At, at the as soon as this uh, the show cuts off, play that in your office or whatever. It just give it give it a verse. Let let it get to crunchy black verse at least. And then cut it off because that's my that's my favorite. Well, that's my that's one of my favorite uh, Three Six Mafia members. So yeah, go ahead and. Um, have a great Wednesday. Because yeah, the first uh, hater step, the first hater getting tossed yeah. out. <laughs> For me, uh, again, uh, God bless you. God may uh, God look over you and your fight, Coach Jones, and your opponent. Uh, you know, want everyone to you know get out healthy. You know what I'm saying? But I want that one hit a quarter from your man. Put that dude <laughs> on his back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for me, uh, draft coverage will again will be starting tomorrow night. Uh, we will start right before the draft kicks off, and we will be here giving you all our analysis of what's going on in the draft. 
And then make sure you uh, make sure you hop over and over to you know back and forth. I'll hop over there to LNU and check out your boy Kurt Steele. Make sure you go over check me out on uh, sidelinereport.com. Uh, you know I got some stuff going, going on over there. Uh, and it's my last week of school, so I graduate next week. So in big announcement be be coming on on Monday with that. So make sure you tune in, uh, find out what's going on with that for next week. But. All that being said, thank you guys for tuning in right here on Detroit Lions and the Pride of Your Home for Detroit Lions news and rumors. Hey, it's hump day, baby. And if you got them dollar conies today, man, like Coach, uh, like LL says, you know what I'm saying? Get this napkin. Wipe them crumbs off your face, man. Finish your drink and get back to work, baby. And whatever you're doing in life, you got to boss up. Fall out and be the best version of you that you can be. For my fellas, LL and Coach Mike Jones, this is Kurt Steele, and we will holler at you real soon. We love you, Jim.